Hello, beautiful people. It's okay. I'm still about to record, please. Hello, beautiful people. I'm about to present to you one of the laws of the universe, which is the 47th law, the law of mantras. Okay. Through the mantra, we connect and become one with the higher being or the higher self. Each mantra is linked to a certain manifestation of the absolute divinity. And in true mantra practice, when we forget the self chanting to become the mantra itself, we attain a state where nothing but the mantra exists. Thus, we connect. The mantra represents the name of a master being and connects us to the ray of light and emanating from that being emanating from that being excuse me we connect through the sounds aura um you etc with the resonance of the frequency that is profoundly beneficial in raising the vibration of thyself. The next is the 48th uh, mantra or the 48th law, excuse me, the law of meditation. This is the law of current and unified thought that is a continuum of mental effort aimed at assimilating the object of meditation. It is, a, it is free from any other thought time does not exist and what we refer to as past and future have no bearing on the mental plane time becomes a convention of thought and language a social agreement truth lies in the moment this moment the only moment that actually exists anxiety about past and future only serve to maintain the anxiety as the mental pictures we create the manifest in our lives when we create remembering that the here and now is all we have our present moments improve so let's talk about it in the manifesting or the divine matrix okay the divine matrix i have 10 powerful magical freaking words that you can use during your rituals to manifest and bring about the lives that you see okay i'll be going over the universal laws I'll be going over the law of miracles, the law of meditation, the law of mentalization, the process, the law of process, the law of meditation, the law of mantras, the law of manifestations, because this is everything that you need to know, okay? In order to grow beyond where you are. My channel is not a channel to sit here to um, talk about, gossip about, where in the fuck your twin flame is, when he coming in, when he gonna come, if he gonna come. This is about ascension. This is about you manifesting in your God, in your God essence, your God self. Okay? All right. Listen. Forget everything that you was told. Abracadabra is one of the magical words. We got nine others that I'm gonna mention, and it's only gonna be mentioned in the freaking divine matrix i ain't sure nothing outside of that you ain't paid for it, you ain't getting it period point blank hate me if you want to i don't give a fuck okay i'm tired of giving shit away for free motherfuckers not even appreciate what i'm giving okay and that's that that's my true feelings and my emotions love it or like it i don't even give a fuck at this point because i give away so much for free and i get nothing in return and that's what happens I see why YouTubers go in a hiatus and fucking go into hermit mode. I see why. Because people are not appreciative of what you give them for free. They don't care. Okay? 
people are out for themselves. I sit up here and launch my my book today, my ebook, Place, Plants, and Pleasure. I did a pre-order for everybody. So you can get at least $10 off. Nobody fucking signed up. Is it because my book is shit? Is it because my book don't matter? No. It's because people don't see the, the fucking value when you give them shit for free. So guess what? It's the regular price now. I tried to help you. I tried to give you $10 off. You didn't want it. Nobody signed up. Am I mad? Of course not. Because guess what? At the end of the day, when it's all said and done, me and my, my family, we're living a plant-based life. I don't consider myself a vegan. Okay? I'm not into animal rights and all that shit. Not that I don't give a fuck about animals. Hear my words. I am not a part of the separatism. I'm not a part of that distinction between me and you. Okay? I'm eating according to what God presented Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden. Okay? I'm going back to the fucking basics. If you want to come along, you can come along and I can teach you how to be healthy, how to be whole, mind, body, and soul. If you don't want to, guess what? I don't give a fuck. And I'm being straightforward and I'm being honest. Because when I care, people don't care. When I don't care, people care. All right? I don't know what you guys want from me. But I'm doing what God told me to do. And that's all I can do. Either you want to be helped to transition, to detox your fucking body, and to be of ultimate health, or you don't. I created this e-book. Because there are a multitude of people out here that want to be plant-based and they don't know where to start because there's just too much information out there. Misinformation. There ain't even truth, okay, out there about how to start, where to start. Where I decided to go is on the lines of being, um, you know, a transitioning plant-based eater, Okay. I don't like these titles, you guys. If you know me, I don't. I hate fucking titles. I hate being called a vegan. I ain't no motherfucking vegan. I'm a human being that loves plant-based foods, vegetarian and also fruitarian, frugivore, vegetarian. I don't give a fuck. From God, what God meant for us to eat originally, what the Israelites ate, what Daniel and them ate. Okay, which was a vegetarian fucking diet. That's what the fuck I want. That's what I eat. That's what makes me feel good. That's what makes me feel whole. That's what satisfies me, etc. Okay? Nobody, not one motherfucking person signed up for a book today. And it ain't because of me. It's because of the fucking conditioning and the mind construct that we have, the mentality that we have, the resistance that we fucking have to change. We need to change our thinking. We need to change the way that we project ourselves. Okay? Um, I want it. I want to say Sayella. Why didn't you ask me? Okay, that's why you should have asked me, not them. You already know how they act. It's good. It needs more salt and more cheese. The um, vegan more cheese is amazing. Mm -hmm. What that cheese? You need to put more in there. It's missing. That's what is missing. It's missing more of that. Okay, baby. Listen to me. I'm the most Dallas coolest motherfucker that you'll ever meet. You'll never meet a motherfucker like me. Because one thing about me, I'm the coldest motherfucker. But I would do anything for you. Okay, when I create things for my clients, I create it with you in mind. I create it with the capability of you finding use for what the fuck I create. I give you more than what the fuck it's worth. I was talking to my first love today. We had a conversation for three motherfucking hours. 
My kids were up and down that I fucked him. And I didn't. And finally, finally, he set me free today in front of my kids because he told me he tells the story also to some of his friends about me and him that the last time, our last interaction together, okay, people thought we fucked. We didn't. We didn't even touch each other. The last interaction we had was straight puss on it. When I got back home, he blocked me on Facebook. He blocked me on every platform he could block me on because he was trying to be very spiritual, a Jehovah Witness. He told me today is the very first time he apologized. Okay? I was so fucking hurt. I even remember talking to my twin flame about it. And my twin flame said, listen, don't be hurt by it. He did the best thing that he could do for you, for himself, for you. And um, he made a decision. He made a choice. And that choice didn't include me. Should I be upset? Absolutely not. Because at the end of the day, wisdom is for those who grasp it, who who would hold on to it, who would cherish it, who would evolve because of it, okay? You're not what happens to you. You're what you allow to happen to you. It's an experience. Either you want to experience it or either you don't want to experience it. It's up to you. We have been here in our location, disclosed location that we have kept from everybody because we love it. It's beautiful. It's amazing. God is amazing. Okay? God has put us in a situation where he set us up to be pretty. Okay? We have experienced uh, people that we normally would not have experienced and we are living in our fucking truth, okay? The truth will set you free. North America's soul purpose expert, Jennifer Longmore, Soul Journey, 88 Universal Laws is the book that I'm reading out of, okay? Something came to me last night. All right? And it was the lucky girl syndrome on TikTok. I channeled it, and I realized this shit is Navelle Goddard, man. Nagel, Nagel, Navelle Goddard in the flesh, manifesting, acting as if you already received what the fuck you want. That's it. I'm tired of people reinventing the motherfucking wheel, calling things do shit like it's new. Bitch, this is not new. This is old. This is ancient. I ain't new to this shit. I'm true to this shit. You understand me? You understand me? Overstand me. I'm burning some motherfucking tree of life and some Nag Palm. Wait, hold on. What is this called? Nag Champa and tree of life incense right now. This shit got me in the zone. I ain't gonna lie. I even smoked some motherfucking Damiana roses and catnip. I'm feeling good right now, okay? I even smoked some motherfucking, what is it called, baby? CBG? CBG. Which is a derivative of CBD, which basically helps with your pain receptors. I've been in a lot of pain, y'all. I've been carrying a lot of motherfucking weight, but let me tell you, at the end of the day, goddamn it, let's go back to abracadabra. I create as I fucking speak. I create as I speak. Abracadabra. Alakazam, that is the oath. Alakazam is the oath, the promise to you that what you fucking speak is going to become a reality. If you put in abracadabra, you will see a fucking triangle. Let me tell you a personal story of mine. When I went to my mom, I was nine years old. I told my mom, I said, mommy, I'm having nightmares. 
I had nightmares all the time. I don't know why I'm having them, mommy. Can you please get rid of them? My mommy made a necklace. There was a fucking triangle that said abracadabra until the motherfucking word disappeared. Listen to me. I did not know my mama was a witch. I did not know my mama practiced magic. But let me tell you something that I understand and understand right now. Abracadabra is a motherfucking powerful word. Aramaic, I told you what the meaning means. It means I create as I speak. When I became exalted in the occult and I became a part of a magical, rich manifestation club, the first thing that I learned was the words that my mama put on the necklace when I was nine years old, fucking abracadabra. Use that in your spells. That's a part of the God Matrix fucking class. There are nine more powerful words that you can use for affirmations that I'm not going to disclose now because it's not time in the divine matrix class you got nine more affirmations that you can use in your rituals god is asking you right now to use your discernment why aren't you using your discernment right now why are you going willy-nilly about shit in your life what the fuck is wrong with you please forgive me but i'm not holding back on what the fuck I'm saying. Because I am in the spirit right now. You can either love it or like, like it or hate it. I don't give a fuck. Right now, I'm preaching. Right now, I'm being used as a vessel for you to use the sermon. Because you ain't been using your discernment. You've been going really nilly. You've been going half ass about what you've been dealing with. You ain't been intentional. You ain't been using your intuition, and you ain't been using the law of karma, okay? Let me break the motherfucking law of karma down, and then I'm going to go ahead and end this because I'm hungry, and my baby cooked for me, all right? Every cause has this effect, and every effect has this, its cause. Chance is but a name for law not recognized. There are many planes of causation, but nothing escapes the law. It is every, it's at, it is ever at, excuse me, work with chains of causation and effects that govern all of life and manifested matter. The karmic law requires that every human Wish, find ultimate fulfillment. Therefore, desire is the chain that binds man to the reincarnation will. Karma is attracted only where the magnet of personal ego still exists. And understanding, understanding, and overstanding of as the law of justice underlying life's inequalities serves to free the human mind from resistance and resentment against God and man. The law itself is elusive and cannot be proven otherwise. Can I have something to eat with, please? What the fuck? Anyway. Proven other than observed with the mind and is used to determine the categorization and effects of specific events. Did you watch that? Did you watch that? Okay. Can I have salt? Can I please have salt? Yeah, I had as much as I don't know why it's going on. I need salt. Can you please give me the sea salt? I need the sea salt, Mama. I love the way you made it. It's really good, okay? But I just need sea salt. Anyhow, 
and understand the karma as the law of justice underlying life's equality serves to free the human mind from a resentment against God and man. The law itself is elusive and cannot be proven other than observed with the mind and is used to determine the casualizations and effects of specific events. When this law is used with conscious effort, desire results can be produced in a person's life. These effects steer us along definite paths of causation. When a law is used by an unconscious and haphazard mind, the effects are potentially disastrous for the individual or group or individuals so-called accidents could occur without warning to individuals who toil through life without awareness. Can I please have the seesaw? I asked like three times. Thank you. I'll pour it. Thank you, Mama. Here. Okay. Thank you. Dinner is lovely. Yeah. I love it. I love it. I beyond like it. You have to make it smell like you wouldn't like it, but I know he likes it. You know how siblings are. I do. It's excellent. You're good. Thank you. You're welcome. It is actually. The law itself is elusive and cannot be proven other than observed with a mind and is used to determine the casualizations and effects of specific events. When this law is used with conscious effort, desired results can be profound in a person's life. These efforts or in effects steer us to um, it steer us along definite paths of casualization when the law is used by an unconscious and haphazard mind. The effects are potentially disastrous for the individual or group of individuals, so called accidents, could occur without warning to individuals who toil through life without a running. So the number one thing that we need is awareness. Okay? Because there are seven dimensions of reality. Actually, there's more than that, but I digress. In which causations can occur. We remain unaware of many reasons for effect. Okay? By understanding, understanding, and overstanding universal laws, we can learn to operate in grace instead of accumulating karma. This law is mechanically or mathematically operative. Its workings may be scientifically manipulated by men and women of divine wisdom who are fully realized and actualized and stand completely in their autonomy. That's for me, and that is for you. Ones that are completely actualized and realized in their autonomy. Okay? Understand, understand, and overstand. Alright? This one key factor. Karma can be understand, overstand, and understood to the observing mind, which sees the cycles in all things and realizes that all things follow the great law. We are responsible for the very thoughts that we produce are the final result 
of our own mental alchemy. And in every minute thought, action, and deed that is performed, we set into motion unseen chains of causation and effect, which will vibrate from the mental plane throughout the entire cellular structure of body out into the environment and finally into the cosmos. Eventually, the vibratory energy returns to its originator upon the return swing of the pendulum. And all this takes less time than the twinkling of an eye. Know this. I'm going to leave you guys here. You are constantly in a flux of creation. The law of knowledge, the law of love, the law of magnetic control, the law of magnetic impulse, the law of magnetism is always in effect. I'm going to finish reading from this book. I'm going to place this down. I'm going to tell you that you are the creator of your own reality. Anything and everything that shows up in your experience Fear of condition and existence is because of you. No one else. No one. No one else created this shit. But you. Rihanna said, "I love and I lost." What does that mean? Everything is experience. You can't lose and win at the same time. You can only do one or the other. Life is good. You can either create a bountiful life or a life of lack based on your mental condition. I'm going to go ahead and sign off. I'm going to go to bed. I'm going to put my cash app up. If you want to donate, that's fine. If you don't, that's fine too. It's not my karma. It's yours. But remember what you do for me, I do for you. Okay? Love you guys immensely, and I'm signing off. Ask Jeff.